in this social monial review i'm going to walk you through the software and i'm going to show you everything you need to know step by step so what's actually social monial social monial helps you optimize your campaign and increase your roi with important social media analytics and automation you can integrate user generated content launch engaging contests and sweet stake and track your influence and social media metrics you can also schedule your social posts with automated repost optimized for your revenue so who's actually suitable for social monial social monial is actually suitable for social media agency and digital marketing looking for a real ROI on their effort with easy to build campaigns so without wasting much time let me jump into the screen itself so before I run into the review, in any case, if you want to buy Social Monio, I have actually a link in the description box. Go ahead and use the link itself, all right? So this is actually the interface for Social Monio. You can actually see on the left, you can actually have the Publish, Calendar, Repost, Campaign, Approve, Share Button, or Social CRM. Later on, I will actually run through everything over here. And over here, you can see, see Publish Post. Okay, you can actually write your here your, your post here. You can actually publish. You can actually see your queue post, send post, draft post, schedule post, import the post or RSS. So your import post, you can actually do a bulk post from your CSV file. And if you want the any example, you can actually download the example here, or you can actually have a RSS as well. So you can just add your RSS feed in, then they can actually schedule your post as well. All right. So it's very simple for you to do your social media post. But before you do any publishing, the first thing you need to do is go to settings itself. So what I would just suggest, you actually go to account preference. Okay, just press OK. Under account preference, you can, the very first thing you need to do is actually connect to your social media account. Example, you can actually add, add it to your Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, Pinterest, or Google My Business itself. So on the bottom, you can actually see some moderator settings and then you can actually have a link shortener or you can actually have an analytics integration. So if you actually have a Google Analytics, you can actually copy this and then this is actually a tracking code as well, all right? So you actually have a conversion tracking code as well. This is actually a list conversion codes. So you actually copy and paste to your HTML secure page itself. Then you show a shopping cart confirm page as well. So also there's actually an email notification. So this email notification, you can actually put in your name, your email. In any case, that you need any email notification when your uh, social media post is post out. So there's also a custom campaign domain. You can actually add in your custom domain or white label application. Right now, if let's say you click onto this and then it will actually override your social media watermark itself, okay? So you can actually add in all these things. In any case, if you have any problem, what is this meaning? You actually have I here. They actually explain to you very clearly. All right. So this is the very first thing you need to do when you have a social monio. All right. So moving back to the interface uh, under publish, which I actually explained earlier on. So right now it's actually calendar. So you can actually view all your calendars over here. Okay. You can actually categorize under uh, different categories. And then you filter by types, category or social network itself. So you can actually see some uh, campaign already being started. Okay. In any case, if you want a reminder, you want to set any reminder, it's very easy. You can just click on today and you can just in your reminder text, choose your icon, add to category or send an email alert. Okay. Once it's done, remember to uh, press save. So on the report, it's actually straightforward as well. So for our post itself, they actually have different network. Once you connect to them, you can actually uh, uncheck them. If you want to see only Facebook, just uncheck the rest. Okay, and then you can actually uh, filter them under different different number number of days. Okay, so you can actually see the number of engagement, number of clicks. Okay, you can actually categorize under clicks on different social account, conversion, comments, link favorite, sales, revenue, TikTok view, or GMB clicks itself. All right, so you can actually have campaign reports, share button reports, video reports, and overview as well. So moving downwards is actually the campaign. And whatever campaigns you actually set, you can actually see the number of entries, the views, and also actions as well. So you can actually preview your uh, campaigns. You can actually get your code, edit your campaign, delete, clear entry, copy, or pause the campaign itself. All right. So right now, what I'm going to show you is how to have create your first campaign. Okay. It's very easy. Go ahead, add new. So what you're actually looking at is actually the number of campaigns you actually can create. 
You can actually have a referral campaign, engagement, photo, video, contest, sweepstake, gallery, testimonial, sign out, coupons, or viral. Okay, so you can actually see tons of tons of campaigns, uh, templates for you to use. You want to start from scratch, you can actually create from there. So in any case, if you want to see what this uh, template looks like, you can actually do a preview. Okay, let me enlarge this. So this is actually how the campaign looks like. You can actually see the number of points here, how many days left, how many, what's the rank. So this is where you can actually copy your uh, link and then you can actually share it to your friends. So right now, this campaign is, this is actually top says review. Right now, this is actually what I'm actually ranking at 66. In any case, if you want to use this campaign, of course, you go back and then you can actually use this template. And there's actually a set uh, setup instruction. So for right now, I just click use this template. So right now, what you actually see is actually the editor mode for this campaign where you can actually edit your campaign. It's actually come with a uh, step by step. First, you actually choose your campaign type. This is a setting. Then you can actually design. And then after that, you can actually save and deploy. So it's pretty simple and straightforward. So the first thing you do is actually you can name your campaign name. You can actually change the name. You can actually put in the rules and disclaimer link. Okay, you can actually put in the rules. You can actually link to your rules and disclaimer page or you can actually paste your rule and disclaimer text below. So as you, you can also have a Facebook sign up or you can actually have a submission sign up or you can actually opt in for a double opt in. Facebook sign up, there's also some integrations. There's actually tons of integrations over here for your CRM as well. Okay, so there's actually MailChimps, Aweber, Zapier, MailerLite, GetResponse, Musen, Webhooks. Or send fox so moving downwards you can actually see some email notification you can actually check on this upon form submission you will, they will receive a thank you page then you can actually go to the next step itself okay or you can actually check into this upon form submission you can actually send an internal notification you can actually send to me and then you can actually have a contest form submission thank you as well so you can actually edit all these all these wordings or your, there's actually a drop down button you can actually choose any of them Based on what your requirement is so over here is actually a competition auctions okay so you can actually choose the winner se uh, selection frequency or you can actually put the start date and time you can actually start immediately or you can actually choose the date and time where you want to start itself so you can actually display message when it ends sorry the competition is ended or you can actually redirect the visitor when it ends you can actually put in your website or your e-commerce store whichever you have so so this is actually the duplicate refer visitor entry blocking you can actually have a standard one and you use cookie to restrict the multiple refers visitor points or you can actually use cookies and ip address okay so you can actually choose all this so the one you actually right now is actually confetti you can actually ring confetti each time points are earned okay. so the next one is actually the leaderboard and price uh, list there's an optional widget which appear on the thank you page to the bonus point challenge so you actually either the leaderboard or price list you can actually choose at your end and you can actually offer how many price you want and then the grand price name and the description so how you earn points you can actually submit one competition form you have really one points or you can actually choose any points which you want your friend join the competition you can actually earn 20 points from there so this comes to the very important part where you can actually add a default comments in the social media share box itself you can actually share a tweet share the link in facebook share it really depends on your requirement if let's say your you have an e-commerce store you also have a e facebook group you can actually ask them to join your facebook group to grow your facebook group or you can actually grow your facebook messenger group as well okay and let's say you have a youtube ch channel you can actually ask them to subscribe to your youtube channel watch a video comment and thumbs up or also twitter instagram pinterest spotify twitch okay or yell or you can actually review your amazon purchase so in any case, if you want to add a custom bonus challenge, maybe you have uh, other uh, website or things like that, okay, you can actually add in over here. It's pretty simple. So once it's done, go ahead and press continue. So right now, you actually add the uh, editor itself, all right? So you can actually import the design. You can actually edit the page background, the header area, content area, edit the shell. You can also edit the button, edit the form, edit widgets, also edit the language, and also advanced settings. So in any case, if you want to change this heading, it's very easy. Just click onto here, and then you can actually change any of the heading. Okay, so you can actually go to your thank you screen. You can also edit the thank you screen as well. You can actually change to your desktop function, your desktop view, or your mobile view. You can actually see how it looks like. Once you're happy with this, save and continue. But the very last step is actually you can actually deploy your campaign itself. Okay, so there's actually a uh, link shortener. 
you can share it and or you can actually uh, scan via QR code so you can actually have a widget as well you can add your campaign to iframe, sticky tab, pop-up or button yourself once all these are done go ahead and publish to your social media itself so at this page you can actually see you can actually start to publish to your social media so there's actually an entry over here you can actually edit any of the information or the attached link or you can actually drag and drop all video or image over here and then you can actually choose the category you want to post to so in the drop down menu you can actually see you can actually publish now schedule optimal or you can actually save as draft so this is actually very simple so moving now to the navigations is actually the approved itself any entry or photo entries you can actually see the, uh, the photos the message the status the campaign all right so you can actually if let's say you actually request for a video entry you can go to the video entry tag and then you can actually see the videos itself or you actually have a text entry you can actually see the text entry over here or you have a social post you can actually see all the social posts here moving downwards you can actually see the share button let me just show you how to do a share button very simple click into this okay you can actually put, put your button name maybe you can just press here okay you can actually add a link to share let me just use social monial website itself you can just update preview so this is actually how you actually looks okay then you can actually allow email sharing and you can actually change the button image as well you can actually add a share counter add a text a photo a video or actually add a default customer comments add a coupon or white paper link after your com customer com your customer comments right now i just save and deploy just give them a while you can actually add your share button to your email just copy this e this code itself or you can actually add a share link to your white paper direct mail or signature itself so this is actually how you have your button shared to different people so the last one is actually your social crm so social crm is very straightforward so if let's say you integrate to any of social crm you can see see all the all the details right over here okay so it comes to my end of this social monial review it's pretty long because it's actually jam-packed with lots of functions which really helps you a lot itself what i'm going to show you next is actually the price of social monial okay this is actually an absolute module right now at a single uh, price okay it's actually 69 you actually have only one workshop workspace 30 social profile 5000 max campaign if you want to upgrade to double which is actually 138 you actually have two workspace 60 social profile 10,000 max campaign and if you want to increase to the third tier the price is actually 207 you actually have uh, three workspace 90 social profile 15,000 campaigns itself okay so in any case if you want to add more codes go ahead and add more codes yourself so remember this is actually a one-time purchase and it's actually a lifetime deal in any case if you want to buy this product social monio i actually have a link in the description box Go ahead and use my link so it comes to my review for this social module i actually hope you enjoy and have a better understanding of this software itself in any case if you would love to see more software review go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so to the next review i will see you meanwhile take care goodbye